Hey everybody, it's your favorite realtor here, Patrick Johnson in Wisconsin, and I'm coming at you live from our website, www.herohomeswi.com. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time this video happens to reach you. For me, it's the morning, so I'm going to enjoy a little bit of coffee, and that's going to power me through this video to go ahead and get you up to date on what exactly a specific search tool is on our new website. So our new website obviously has tons of different capability for you as a buyer or a seller or somebody who's just trying to learn about real estate to get a lot of valid data about the market. And one of the best tools you can use for a specific search area, um, and for instance, like creating a geofence for a specific subdivision or around a lake or anything else that you might be interested in, is using our Polygon search. So what I'm going to do is basically jump onto our property search page highlight that Polygon tool so that way you can use it to the best of your ability. And as always, if you have questions about anything, just let me know in the comments, give me a call, shoot me a text, give me an email, whatever works best for you. I am here to help you. I've invested in this tool so you can have the best search possible as a uh, buyer, seller, or person interested in real estate throughout the state of Wisconsin here. So let's go ahead and kick this off. Here we go. All right, everybody. So as you can see, we're on the homepage here right now, herohomeswi.com. I'm going to go ahead and click property search. So our property search page will load up here. And just something to note, this is a fresh search. There is no, you know, address MLS or anything like that entered in. There's no price point set. There's no bedroom set, you know, minimums, maximums. Same goes with bathrooms, no minimums or maximums set. And we also have property type here automatically uh, selects condos and single family homes as property types. And then of course there's always the more option if you want to get more involved in your search. And what we'll see here is the real focus of this video is going to be again the polygon search for selecting a very specific area. And that polygon tool to open that up you'll see there's a plus sign and a minus sign that's for zooming in and out of the map. And then you'll see under that there's a, uh, a little emblem here that's shaped kind of like a pencil. And if we highlight that and hover over it, you can see that that says Polygon Tool. So you'll click that Polygon Tool to go ahead and activate that search tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Because in this case, what I'm saying is, okay, um, I love the Pewaukee area. I want to make sure that I find a property that's on or very near Pewaukee Lake. So I'm going to set up a geofence around that specific area. So I'm going to go ahead center the map here just so I get a good look at the lake and I'm gonna go ahead and activate that polygon tool and as you can see the tool itself is activated and it clears all the different items that were showing up on the screen previously so you can get a very clear idea of where you're actually putting your you know your polygon markers and we can see here click on the map to begin double click to close so let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna click near the lake here and I'm going to work my way around the lake or very near the lake to make sure that any properties that pop up are going to be very close to where I want to be. And you can make this as precise as you want. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can do really just about anything in terms of making this unique shape. So let's say for instance, you know, with Rocky Point area, I don't want to be, you know, on the landlocked section of that. I really want to be closer to the water. So I'm going to cut out that whole landlocked section and basically just highlight the edges very close to the water itself. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click my original dot so where I started and that's gonna close our polygon search there we go so we can see that that's gone ahead and set our polygon search specifically to that specific area um, I'm gonna go ahead and search or I'm sorry not search but I'm gonna hit the zoom in button here just so you can see this a little bit more clearly and again I can move the map I can do anything I need to here to basically get a better look at whatever I'm interested in so as we can see, I mean, there's obviously going to be some properties that might not be specifically on the lake, 
And we could combat that by zooming in even further and making it a more accurate polygon fence uh, to begin with. Or uh, we can just keep in mind that, you know, some of those search options are going to show up and they're not going to be directly on the lake itself, but they'll still be in that general area. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different properties that are popping up here. There's five in this area. There's single properties that are listed here that we could click on to get more information about. And all of those listings are going to actually show up in this sidebar as well. And again, we don't have any other criteria selected yet. This is basically just the polygon geofencing type tool that we're using. And as you can see, if we scroll, we can see, okay, there's the condo, there's a single family home. We can see that there's one of these homes here has an offer on it already. So this one's active with offer. This one's just active. What does that mean from the last video? You know, if it's with offer, it's probably going to be a waste of your time. If it's active, it means that you have a great shot of being able to capture that property and buy it yourself. So we can see there's all these different listings here. And those listings fall within our geofence or polygon tool that we set up here. So pretty straightforward. It's an awesome search tool. Will really make your life easier if you're looking for a specific area too. Uh, just gives you the chance to monitor any and all activity that's within that one spot. So if you guys have any questions, like always, feel free to give me a call, comment in the comment section below, text, email, you know, whatever works best for you. I'm here to help you. I'm investing in these tools to make your life easier as a buyer or a seller in Wisconsin. And as always, feel free to contact me. Quick plug, we do have some awesome books available now too. Uh, this is one of my latest books, Home Improvements That Improve Values gives you great ideas, especially if you moved into a house that's a little bit of a fixer-upper. What can you do that's going to give you the best return on your investment in terms of fixes and remodels? As always, everybody, have yourself a great day and contact me at 920-321-4136 with any questions or jump on our awesome new website, herohomeswi.com. We help everyone. If you have any questions, contact me. Have a great day, everybody. See you later.